my favourite professional athlete would probably be Michael Jordan. Um, just the way he went about his business, he's the ultimate competitor. Um, kind of didn't take no for an answer. And I think as long as we live, there's not going to be another athlete that, you know, played professional basketball, quit for two years, comes back and is still the best player in the world. And to all you LeBron fans out there, he still is the best player ever. <laughs> I was six when I started playing sports. Uh, I started playing, it was, it's under 10s, like in a local competition, just in the local rec centre. Um, that was basketball. Um, I obviously played in the backyard with my older brother and sister. They used to beat up on me a little bit because they were so much older. But yeah, probably six, I started getting into football and and uh, basketball. Oh, I'm the youngest of four. So uh, my older sister's 32, I believe. It's my, um, I've got an older brother. He's 30. And then my uh, other sister, Tess, she's two and a half years older than me. Tess and Ben both play basketball. Tess is uh, playing professionally in Australia. My brother spent four years at college at Augusta State and he's playing professionally in Australia right now. And my older sister's a psychologist. Just before I came to America my first year, um, my dog passed away, but he, he was probably the only pet I ever had. He was a, a golden Labrador and he was really fat. He probably lived five years too long. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he hobbled around, but yeah, his name was Kipper. And it was a great little family. I really liked playing Australian rules football. Um, when I was at home, that was, if I couldn't play basketball, I was, I was playing Australian rules football. That was, um, it was kind of a hard tossing up between which sport to play between the two, but I, I definitely picked the right one. But besides that, just hanging out with friends. I used to play the drums a little bit, or try to, mainly just making noise, but yeah, that's probably my two main hobbies. Uh, I love traveling, meeting new people, and going to new places. I've been to uh, Thailand, to Bangkok for uh, two weeks. My sister was playing in the Australian, oh, she was playing for Australia in the World Championships for under-19s for basketball. So me and my mum and dad went to Bangkok. And um, besides that, just uh, around Australia and um, just to the US. The process was to make it to Delta State. Uh, my brother went to college when I was probably about 14. And his, like the stories he said and his experiences were really good. So ultimately I wanted to do, do the same thing. So probably December 2010, when I finished high school, I started sending emails out to college coaches. I had a resume, like a little resume and um, like a, a YouTube clip of my highlights. So it was probably eight months. I sent out maybe 250 emails to college coaches and didn't really have much interest. And then uh, my brother's coach um, helped me out in like May, so at the end of the college basketball season, he, he uh, put me onto Coach Byrne. And then, um, yeah, the next day, Coach Byrne called me and uh, offered me a scholarship, and I accepted it on the spot. Um, I'm majoring in marketing with a minor in journalism. And uh, I'd love to obviously play professional basketball somewhere and then um, maybe get into commentary or news reporting, something like that, but if not, I would love to get into public relations. Favorite place to go to on this campus? I, know, I really like the, I know it's gonna make me sound like a bit of a nerd, but I like the library. Um, it's nice and quiet, and there's those couches up there. You can, I mean, you can go have a little nap if you like, or you get some homework in, but yeah, I, I like the library. Yeah. A good communicator, um, obviously has got a bit of skill. Um, I like like joking around with my teammates, so a good sense of humour. So uh, they don't take you know jokes too personally because you're with each other all day every day. So you kind of need to um need to have a joke every now and then. Pre-game superstitions. Uh, I'm I'm not really big into superstitions. I like to uh, obviously I need both my ankles taped before I play. I like, I know my head's just not quite right. And um, we've got this uh, defence sign in the locker room. And um, everyone, everyone taps out on their way out to play. But other than that, I haven't really noticed too many superstitions. Craziest thing I've ever done. There's been a few. Um, about, I can five minute drive from my house, there's a big reservoir, it's so like a lake. And um, it's, it's owned by the government, so you're not supposed to go in there or anything. But there's a bridge for cars, and it's probably about 20 feet high. And one day it was really hot, me and my buddies 
went and did some backflips off the bridge into the water. And then we found out that there's, like a couple of weeks later, that there's big stakes in the, in the bottom, so we're pretty lucky there. <laughs> oh, the worst job I've ever had. Um, it was probably a month out of high school. Uh, so in Australia, we finish in December at high school, so it was the summer, really hot, like maybe 100, 110. And I was building a, a cobblestone driveway. So these massive stones. It was the largest one in the Southern Hemisphere for this really rich South African winemaker. And it was me and my high school buddies just picking up rocks and hauling them onto crates for like eight hours a day and that was horrible. My favorite movie of all time would be uh, Remember the Titans. Um, even when I didn't know about American football, I still loved Remember the Titans. Uh, my best, my favorite part of that movie is when they're in the, they're in the circle and kind of they've just started getting along as, as, as a team. And they start yelling out like, uh, I got soul power and how strong are you, too strong? That's, that's my favorite part of that movie. Uh, mu my favorite music would be uh, rock. I really like rock and a bit of house music, like dance. Me and Declan, my roommate, get into a bit of house music and have a few parties in the room. But um, my favorite band at the moment, I can would be Kings of Leon or even the Black Keys. The last, uh, The Hobbit last year, when the, uh, the first movie came out, I, uh, I went and bought the second, I went and bought the book Probably like the next day, my teammates gave me a bit of stick for reading the book on the bus, but I, I enjoyed it, it was good. If I had to leave uh, America right now and I wasn't allowed to go back to Australia, I'd probably go to Spain or the south of France and you know, hang out on the beach and soak in some sun. Jack Madgen, men's basketball, shooting guard number 14, sophomore, Williamstown, Australia. Student, athlete, statesman, united in green.